Now the 2-1 pitch. And nope, this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff. Tonight, it's 3-1 and one now. The 3-1 and one pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three, Three balls, balls and two strikes. Back. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do nope, with that low sinker side. except ball foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. In the second spot center, Standing right in, on. Freddie Galvis. The head-to-head -head with James Paxton. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at that. Strike taken, the throw. He's in safe. there easily if the throw bounces on the way down. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff, isn't he? Works his way on base to start the game and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position. He's trying to make an impact from the get-go in this one. Galvis playing here in his age 29 season. He's currently in the first year of a new two-year contract. I know this ain't a ton of job security, but it's certainly better than a one-year deal. A two- to three-year deal puts yourself in a position where you can really invest in this team. Hello and welcome to MLB The Show. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Now another 0-2. Popped him up. Major on the move. And that's the first out of the inning. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Danny, any thoughts? Well, well Matt, we'll see if Jonathan Scope can keep up the hot bat. He's an imposing... Umpire and crew working this one. Behind the plate is Eric Summerskill. Yeah, Dan, we got Eric Summerskill behind the dish. Really likes to work the ball east-west. What did you like? Did you like north-south, east-west? I, I thought east-west, Dero. The more I could get away with on the outside corner, inside corner, give me a wider plate than a higher plate. I think it's a lot easier to pitch from a wider plate. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Edwin Encarnacion now. As he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Nunez. Second with two down. That's a Trying ball. to get him to chase the cutter there. A ball and two strikes. And he oh, lays off the pitch there. outside as they draw even at two and two. The two two. Elbow. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep them out of danger. Bottom of the first straight ahead, we are scoreless on the show.
J. Happ. Gets the ball for the Orioles in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, thanks, Matt. J. Happ, big, tall guy, about 6'4", 215 pounds. It's really put Way things together. Not overpowering, Second but pinpoint run. control. DJ. Reminds me a lot oh, of former AL Cy Young Award winner, Flick Lee. Controlled oh, with really good stuff. Good fastball, good changeup, and his curveball is getting a lot better. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they were the spoilers here on opening day as they took game one of the season on the road. Yeah, Matty, not easy to start opening day on the road and grab a W in the opponent's ballpark, but that's what happened. And they come into game two with a chance to set the tone in this series. Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, oh, and the batter the didn't even flinch. Got to wonder what he was looking for. Two and two count. Here it comes. Lying towards center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Riding into the box, Aaron John will get to take his first cuts here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a look at one catching the outside oh, corner. Hey. A good knee-high changeup taken for a strike. Judge fittingly gets the nickname All Rise. He was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder, and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Nobody out runner on first. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. As a veteran pitcher, he knows if he's going to have success in this one, he's got to establish that pitch in, get those guys to respect it, and open up that outer half of the plate. This one's down to third. Fielded cleanly. There's he's one. Out. On to Encarnacion, and they get them both to double play. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Well, Matt, you walk into this yard today, and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that can work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. Digging in now for the Yankees, Aaron Hicks. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really oh, changed the there. complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond. But now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. On the ground to the left side. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. On to the second inning now from Yankee Stadium with no score. Here's Jonathan Scope now. The head-to-head -head with James Paxton. He's one for two. Jonathan Scope. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. In his career, Scope has just over 100 career home runs to his credit. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball, one and one. Zero. One and two. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And let's focus on outfielder Brett Gardner. You need a center fielder, he can play there. You need a corner spot, he's got that covered, too. He has baseball acumen, awareness, a savvy for the game. Even if the offense lags a little bit, defense is always on point. Now a shot sent off to the right side with foul. The 
0-2 delivery. Still no balls and two strikes. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit That's further outside. down. Maybe even potentially bounce the next one. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Well, he's really rolling on the mound right now. All you have to do is look at the last four hitters for evidence. All four of them have gone down on strikes, as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do, so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in out there. Here's Mark Trumbo now. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. Taking low for a ball. Two and two. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikes. Carlos Stanton now in pass Leading meetings off with Jay Happ. He's a 333 hitter. Two of those hits John were for home Carlos runs. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball one. Ball one. one. Swing and a line drive. But this is going to get oh, fouled. Terrible. One one home. Takes yeah. a pitch for strike number one two. Two strike. Hard liner to center field. Hayes patrolling center makes the play one out. All right, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Orioles. And let's take a look at infielder Freddie Galvis, the guy who bounced around in the early part of his career, but his glove is his calling card. And he settled at one of those premium positions up the middle. And look for him to have a big day on defense. Bucky Major comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? There's another slider. That's back-to-back -back good sliders. And this guy's breaking ball is really good. And when he's throwing it well like he is, and he's confident with it, he can throw it three or four times in a row. A really good slider in this one. And a breaking ball stays outside. Bottom of the second here with no score. Slider gets him swinging to God. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, man. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. No balls, two strikes. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Austin Hayes, the next to bat. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Called strike and he's behind one and two. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. Almost into the short porch, but it's off the wall. Around 
second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And he is in the third with a leadoff triple. You've got to like the effort there from the right fielder. He gives chase and leaps, but just can't bring it down. Excellent backup from the center fielder, though, coming to help out. If he doesn't, that might have been an inside the park. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. High pop-up. Hayline moving to his left. One away. Ready for another chance. Eduardo Nunez threw a base on ball his first time up. First pitch on its way. Nope. A ball and no strikes. Two and O oh to Eduardo Nunez. Now the 2 0 -oh home. Good swing there because he's foul off to the right side. 2-1 home. That's popped up. Major. Foul ground. And no one will get this one. The 2-2. And a swing and a miss. And another punch out here. Six already. And that's out number two. Well, their chances of pushing across the run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Nope, but fastball inside, ball one. Looking at his career totals, Galvis is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. Looks at a sinker there that drops in one and one. Hayes on third with two out. And Count knuckle two, third man. missed that time, two and one. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Push to the right side. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the He's hole. Throw on to first. Gets him, and the side is retired. See the speedy Brett Gardner start things out when we come back. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Here's Brett Gardner now. He was one for four with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. Left fielder, Brett Gardner. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Down and away. It's a ball and two strikes. and two. Another one, two. Struck Three. him out. Now to the plate, Damon Ulysses. And he'll get his Run, first opportunity in this one. Damon Ulysses. Ready, here's the first offering. Swing and a ground ball to third. Nunez right there on the first. And half's rolling now, two away. Adding none. Third baseman. Stepping in, Mickey Hayline. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Gardner is there. That's the first out of the inning. 
Coming to the plate now, Edwin Encarnacion comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled away. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And 0 and 2 count to Edwin Encarnacion. Now on 0 and 2, I don't think we're going to see any more hittable fastballs. If we see one at all, it'll probably be extended out of the zone, or at least that'll be the intent. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Edwin Encarnacion goes down for out number two in the top half. First pitch of the at bat. A fastball inside, ball one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Ball and two strikes now. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. On to the bottom of the fourth now. Now at the plate, DJ Lemayne. He reached inning. on a single in his Second first truck. DJ Lemayne. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Boy, inside good fight on the slider, and it just missed inside. Skied into straightaway right. Casado has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Stepping up to the plate, Aaron Judge. Ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Hayes is there now, and he has it. Two gone. In now, Aaron Hicks. Two away in the inning, and then it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit in the air down the right field line. Casado sprinting after it. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire. Riding in once again, William Casado. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. At the knees, strike one. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher. Able to pound his own with all different options. This is foul the right side. Another 0-2. High in the air out towards shallow right. Judge is under it. He's got it one away. Now batting. Designated hitter. Mark Trumbo. To the plate now is the designated hitter. Mark Trumbo. First delivery to him on the way. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Gardner is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Austin Hayes the next to bat. He found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A knee high sinker. Tough pitch. Strike one. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been two strikes. If he can clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. Hit down the third baseline. 
throw to first will get him easily when the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Halfway home, still no score. Back with Mark DeRose and Dan Plesak, Matt Baskersian, and leading off the inning, big right-handed slugger, Giancarlo Stanton. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Line softly toward the hole, and this will be flagged down easily for the first out of the inning. First baseman, number 33, Bucky. Digging in, Bucky Major. First pitch of the at bat. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and nope. he's got a real good count at 2 0. 3 0 to him now. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. That pitch is and up. he won't even have to take the bat off his moorings. A four-pitch walk here. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. Now with the plate, Gary Sanchez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Strike one to start the at-bat. Hey. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. The 0-2 delivery. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. Bounce it to the left side. Oh, terrible bounce, and it goes right by him. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line up, drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment, able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Casado is right there as he takes it for the second out. Digging in, Damon Ulysses. We'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Yeah, shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Zero. A big pass at a slider that gets passed him. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Yanks strand a pair. Sixth inning coming up. Still zip, zip. Stepping in, Austin Barnes popped out in his first trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Barnes swings and throws from the right side and stands at five foot hey. ten. He was a ninth round pick back in 2011. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big football player. That's a big accomplishment. 
So it was a swinging strike three. Austin Barnes becomes the first out of the inning. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Eduardo Nunez. He went down on strikes last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's that little sinker right over the outside corner. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Into the box, Freddy Galvis. Popped him up. Sanchez over to his left. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. Nine, one, and two. So stepping in, making a he'll start. Third baseman, Mickey Kalon. Here comes the first pitch. And you wonder about the control now as he misses high with the slider. This is line to left. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. And there's probably no happier person in the ballpark. Mickey Haylon just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as is customary, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. Yeah, good for him, and congratulations. Nope. Listen, he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment, and he's obviously trying to play cool right now, but you can bet inside his head, he's on top of the world. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. And he'll dive, but he's back in there. And another snap no, throw to safe. the back keeping particularly close tabs on him. And again, he'll snap one over first. And he'll dive back in. one open. -oh He's running. A pitch out. The throw. Safe. And they still don't get him as he's in safely at second with a stolen bit. I'm not sure what else the defense could have done there. They pitched out, and the throw was pretty good, but they still couldn't cut him down. You kind of just have to hope he gets a bad jump. K-line leads off second with nobody out. Hit on the ground out to short. Throws in time, and that's at number one. Up next for the game. Now batting, Aaron Judge hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Thrilled to the left side. From his knees, the throw. Throw. Got him. And I'm going to tell you, that is an incredible play. Oh, that's just an excellent play that time. Super high degree of difficulty on that one. And as an added bonus, not only does he get the out at first, but he also keeps that runner stationed on second base. Stepping in now, Aaron Hicks. As he takes a bold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's 0-2 in the ballgame so far. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. Mancini is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One left for the Yankees. And this is still a nothing-nothing ball game.
back here in the Bronx. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I would agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a team that could really go either way in the late inning. Digging in now, Edwin Encarnacion. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. A ball and no strikes. That's inside. So far, this has been a very productive outing. We're into the middle innings of this one, and his pitch count is down, and this might be one of those starts where he can work deep into this game, possibly into the eighth or ninth inning. One ball, one strike to count. Way out in front. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on a proverbial rocking horse all night, changing speeds, hitting every squad. He's tough to hit. Bases are empty, one man out. This one up around the noggin. Now it's full. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come nope, back to fight. He lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt him. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on it. You know, Dero, sometimes one of your best friends and your own teammates right there. Good hustle from the first base to beat that throw to second. And guess what? He bought his battery made a knock. Yeah, he definitely bought him a knock. You know what else he's gonna buy him? He's gonna buy him dinner on the road at some point because that's some significant hustle right there. It was a nice play. The internal clock of the defender thought he still had a chance at second wasn't meant to be. Well, the O's have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now would be a great time for that. 2-0, and oh, here it is. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go-ahead run at third now, with still only one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Just like the guy on second had to respect it. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets through, but eventually does get the third base. And now time is called, and the reliever is warm out there. Here's Mark Trumbo now. As the hey. first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Hey, we're moving into the later innings right here. This guy's continuing to pitch well with his first pitch strike percentage well over 60%. That's about league average so far, so he's right on point. Behind 0-2 now. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And a big out there as the go-ahead run stays at third with two gone now. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out. And we're only in the second game of this series. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. And another strike out here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton will get the first shot when we return. Seventh inning stretch time now here in the Bronx.
Giancarlo Stanton now. Leading off the Yankees. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball that just misses inside. Popped him up. Encarnacion over to his right. Makes the play one away. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Standing in now, Bucky Major. And he'll take a look at ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Casado looks up, and as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya. And good for him. Bucky Major just launched his first major league home run. Hard to say how many more of these he'll hit in his career, but for now, I'm sure he's happy to say he's got at least one. Well, I think that any kid who's ever dreamed about playing this game dreams exactly this. Watching the ball disappear over the fence, then circling the bases in a big league ballpark. He'll be replaying that at bat over and over in his head. And now his phone's going to blow up. He'll be calling his parents, his buddies. Everybody's going to be talking about this one. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. He'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's one for two in this one. To third. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there. You know, if you on a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. From the stretch. In the dirt here. Looks like a lefty and a right-hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. He's going to have to take a deep breath. A little bit ultra-aggressive at the plate right now after fishing at the first pitch. Looking like he was going to commit on that one. 1-1. One, one. He's laid two. off for ball two. two one. Good two, two, spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at 2-2. Two and two. Hey, as an offense, you do your homework, you scout. He hasn't been using that pitch an awful lot. I say you just throw that out. If he's going to flip that occasionally for a strike, then so be it. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Moving under it, Pisado makes the play, and there are two gone now. Stepping into the box, Damon Ulysses. Damon Ulysses. to the at-bat and he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees pretty liberal strike zone there it's 0 and 1 
Sanchez is off of first with two away. Down on the third baseline. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. Will march on to the eighth. Now one nothing yet. Jack Britton has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 53. Jack Britton. Coming to the plate now, Austin Barnes. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. That misses one ball, wide. One, one ball and one strike. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher. He was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Eduardo Nunez. 0 for 2 for him to this point. That's a ball. And this is low, ball one. out number two. How Digging in the switch hitter, Freddie Galvez. And hitless in three at-bats to this point. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. It's a strike. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Galvis behind 0-2. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Count still at one and two. We'll try again, one, two. Oh. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. right at home plate. And he stays alive, still two and two. Two out, nobody on. Grounded back up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. And here's the big right handed power threat, Trey Mancini. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. On the ground to third. Throw in time, and the side is returned. One left for the Orioles. They're down one nothing. Garrett Bain. It's 
out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Garen O'Day. Standing in, Mickey Kaline. He's one for two. Leading off for the Yankees. Mickey Kaline. Set. Here it comes. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that is through into right field for a single. So the leadoff base hit out of the ninth spot, and that sets the top of the order up nicely here to start the inning. Nice execution right there. Ball was down the road and he stayed through it and was able to drive it to a base hit. First things first, here's the throw over. And he'll be back in standing up. Another throw over, and they got him. I think he was going first pitch, first movement all the way, and apparently the pitcher knew it too, caught him leaning. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMay here. He swings and rounds it to short. Quickly, there are two away. There's a look at the final line for the Orioles starter. He was on point from the get-go this evening. At the plate, Aaron Judge. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's set and the pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. Shot weakly to the left. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. We've played eight full. The Yankees lead it one to nothing. Now the beautiful views of Manhattan at night. Welcome back to baseball on the show from right here in the Big Apple. Your attention, please. Now the same for the situation on tap. They'll Number hand the ball 54. over to a formidable first. Uh, the very hard throwing left-hander Aroldis Chapman. Edwin Encarnacion now. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak has been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. No contact there from Encarnacion as the count runs to 0-2 on it. Hey, you could tell his eyes lit up on that ball right there. It was a little up, but it was out over the plate. Tough pitch to pull, and this guy's known for going deep pull side. Fouled off. two once more. A shot down the first baseline. But uh, this will be a foul ball and it's still 0-2. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. He's frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Edwin Encarnacion comes the first out in the ninth inning. Swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Grounded to short. To his left, Ulysses. On the first, and the Orioles are down to their final out. Digging in and looking for more, William Casada. He singled his last time. And that swung on and missed for strike one. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. 
swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. It's a one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitch awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The Yanks jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. James Paxton earns his first win of the season, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Jay Happ is settled with a loss after giving up only one earn. Aroldis Chapman closes the door for the save, his first of the year. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees. One run on six hits.